So I'm gonna uh, explore these roads up here. Um, I already found one uh, abandoned road, and um, my goal is to hopefully make this corner. Corner. This is pretty steep here. So I got up in these mountains here, put up traps, and I found this abandoned road, which is right here on the left. Walk down and around. Uh, was this it here? Nope, that's the cul de sac. So I want to go as far up here as I can. This is abandoned road right here, this side road. This is a dead end road. This would actually be a nice property right in there. I wonder if that's for sale. But uh, let's see where this is going on back here. And I'm curious what that road is down there. So we're going to drive around. So I'd like to get up here. We have to walk it. But they've got a chain blocking off. I don't know why they do that in Japan so much. Everyone wants to stop people. Yeah. Unless this chain is unhooked. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go explore up here, put some traps. This is, this is all wild up here. So it's part of the ski resort. There was a ski uh, lift going up here and there's the old chairs and they took it down. Right? So you can see that. So actually this is ski resort land that I'm getting on. <laughs> Sneezing. So since I'm on a, actually this is not a public road, but I want people, if the worker comes, they're like, oh, what is that thing in the tree? They go, oh, Suzumachi Trappu. Ah, oh, okay. So, catch. Well, Suzumachi. So this is Hakiyama. And ultimately here's a snow ski resort. I think there's skis behind me. But all of this here is basically uh, like park. There's housing down here. This is the last of the housing down here. And what's happening is the hornets are probably living up here and attacking down in the valley where there's all sorts of good food and everything else. So um, the opportunity here is to be proactive and that's what I'm doing. And what's really cool about these forests, very unlike other Japanese forests, is it's all kind of what I call virgin forest or as close as virgin forest as you can get in Japan because there's no cedar. This is all natural. This is all, this is what a natural forest would look like. This wasn't planted. This is just sprung up by itself. And that's really cool um, to see that. The colors here must be amazing in the fall in Hakuba, which you can start seeing the colors coming out here, right? But I bet this is absolutely amazing over there. I'm gonna follow this road, see where it takes me. Let's see, it'll wind up this mountain, and on periodically, I'm gonna put out traps. You know, the key is to periodically stop and look around, just pause, maybe even turn my engine off because you can listen to them, hear them. You know, rocky formation like this, the queen could get in there, hibernate, and then dig it, dig out um, if there's dirt behind it. Giant hornets are kind of like ants. Um, I have kind of a, a move in there. here. See, I'm look, looking like in that dry, see how dry it is in there? Right in there. I've reached the limit with my four-wheel drive. I cannot get up here. This is too muddy for my little truck. And if I did get up here, I can see this would be problematic up here. It's too wet. This, this floor is really muddy. Look at that, just mud, mud, mud. You can see this caterpillar. You can get up here. So, I guess I'm gonna go for my foot from here. Whenever you see these big oaks like this, you wanna stop and take a look. Let me turn the engine off too. What you're looking for is dark scarring parts where the sap is coming out. This is someone's lost ski. Probably went flying down the mountain. 
down there. Looks like someone has a garden, or did have a garden, or is doing something down there. To me, this is so strange. They put so much money into shoring up. There's nothing down here. But obviously, if you see very carefully, there's that white, that's, a, that's guardrail. That's a car. So I bet originally the road came up here and up, probably came up around here, and this was part of the road. Because this would have been built to protect the road so the road wouldn't come down. So I bet the old road is right there. One way to find out is to look over here. See, this is, this is road here. This is definitely, looks like it was road. Oh, that hurts. Thorny bush. So I'm guessing this probably was road here. If there's any evidence, maybe not. I'm not sure. This is actually edible. The stock. Edible. What amazed me in Japan is you're out of nowhere. No one's really ever probably going to use it. There's no barbecue or anything. But this is probably, you know, a $5,000 piece if you wanted to buy it, you know, really expensive, probably even, who knows, you just can't buy this for a grand or anything. So I'm in town, and I run into a British guy called Phil, and he's like, hey man, I got hornets, can you come remove them? So I'm up here, I'm going to remove these, I'll check out. All right, crowbar. You going up this way? I'm yep, okay. This way. He's going to film outside because the balcony is pretty precarious. So, you know, you may see the hornet hunter flying to his death here. But how are they going to put up the scaffolding if there was going to be hornets there? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, I'm going to wait for a little so I have everything before I go out there and stir them up. Is it raining? Is it raining? It's just the water. So they're up top here. I'm going to pull all this down. We're up top in here, and uh, yeah, that's solid. You gonna bring me a step ladder? What's your name? Uh, Gavin. Gavin. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to stir up the storm. All right. Shut this door. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. Just watch that happening. It feels solid. Yeah. I think it's only, it looks only bad because that last piece is what we've got over there. Yep. Alright. I try not to jump up and down. Alright, so basically, wait. Ah, they're right under in here. Okay. Alright. So it's right in there, is, is, is it? I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you see it hanging there in the back. Um, you can probably see its height obscuring the light. The problem is, is that look how little, I mean these roofs are not built for someone to go on top. So I need a board to put my weight on as I move across. There. Alright, cool. So that was one heck of removal. Um, you know, it's again, it's tough having one guy on camera um, and, you know, oh, hold on, that car in the way. The really, really tough thing is that in a Japanese house, the roof are just basically hanging up there. And um, there's nothing uh, to put your weight on. And that was the biggest challenge for me. I had to put down boards and kind of scummy and actually have, I knocked down some of the ceiling getting to it. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so, but the guy was happy, did that removal for him, um, and he's, he's, uh, you know, made another contact here, so that's good.